Hello and welcome to Model Rail programme number 16, which comes to you from the marvellous Docklands Light Railway, which is a serial winner in the National Rail Awards competition run by Model Rail Sister Magazine Rail. We'll be taking a look at this fantastic little railway in a bit more detail later on, because if you don't live in London, you're probably not familiar with just how good it is. As usual, we've got our fantastic mix of layouts, reviews and other modelling features, together with some historic footage to give you loads of inspiration. The 1990s is often an era that's overlooked by railway modellers, sometimes because the railway itself is felt to be, well, a bit lacking in character, which we know isn't true, but certainly because there's a view that modern architecture is dull and uninspiring. Well, anybody who thinks that needs to come here. Canary Wharf really is one of my favourite stations around. It does prove that modern architecture can be bold but very attractive to the eye. It's not something that worried the modellers of the Furnace Model Railway Club in Barrow in Furnace. They tackled the 1990s with great gusto in their Bolden modern exhibition layout. Also, Chris Lee shows us how to build several types of girder bridges while Dave Lowry tackles the finicky but not too difficult job of building a steam locomotive chassis, making sure that it's straight and true. We'll be taking a look at some new Backman models, including, and I do have to say this, our rather splendid limited edition Class 40 model. Rock faces and cliffs can be quite tricky to get right, but with expert help it's not as bad as you might think. Chris Lee shows you how, and finally, we visit another dock, Pete Midwinter's superb Port Ethan, a really good China clay model. 